What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of Adobe Edge Animate once more, and we've got another question. This one's coming in from Peter Torres. He says, mouse over button to show small thumbnail, click button to show larger image. Now, I tried to do this for him last week, and due to a Windows 10 update that came in, it messed up the image viewer. I could not view images. It gave me an error, and it also messed up the ability to run these examples like this right here we roll over and we can see the image and then we click it and it shows the big image we click that the image goes away so let's go ahead and dive into it let's go ahead and create a new composition and we're going to go ahead and save this one and we're going to let's go ahead and right click on this copy the image create a new folder and this is called project Okay, go ahead and save it into there. Now let's choose save as and let's drop in our images. Once again, save as and it loads our images. The first thing that we want is a button. So let's go ahead and add in our button here. Let's add in some text into our button. And we want this te text to say click me. Okay, let's go ahead and move our text to the center. Uh, it looks good enough about right up in there. Now, let's go ahead and make our text a child of our rectangle. And let's rename our rectangle to button. Okay, now let's go ahead and add in another box right on top. And that's going to be our button holder. Okay, we're going to drop down its opacity down to zero so we can see through it. Now, the reason why we got the button holder is that everything up underneath the button, we want to be able to click on. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is that we want to add in a shadow box. We're going to put the shadow box right there, drag it all the way out to here. We're going to name this shadow, whoops, shadow box. Okay, we're going to drop down its opacity to about, uh, let's say, 60. Okay, so that basically looks good to me. All right, so let's go ahead and grab a hold of an image. We do not have the images. These are the images from my other project. So let's go ahead and drag in this one. Uh, let's bring in another one. Let's grab a hold of the bunnies. Yes, we're going to do this with bunnies, people. And they're kissing bunnies. So cool. All right, so we're going to grab a hold of our bunny and we're going to drop our bunny on top of our shadow box. Okay, so now we're going to set our shadow box to about there. That way we can see our image good. Okay, and so the next thing we want to do is that we want to add in another holder, so like what we did for our button, but we want one for our shadow box. Come over here. We're going to click right there, drag it over to the top, and then we're going to set its opacity all the way down. This is going to be our shadow holder. Okay, so the next thing we want to do here is that we want to, um, let's go ahead and set up some labels first. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to do a stop. And one too many clicks. So now let's come out here. Control L, Command L, and we want to um, show small, and then we're going to come over here. We're going to go hide small. Okay, now what we want to do is that we want all three of these items to get small. We want them to be out of our way. So let's go ahead and come over to here. And we are going to show big. We're going to come out to here. We're going to do a stay. Oops. I'll explain what that is later on. And then come out to here. And then we're going to do hide big. So let's go ahead and click there. And we want to drag this out to here. We're going to make this animation small. Okay, so now let's grab a hold of here, and then we want to, whoops, that was definitely not what I expected to do. Let's grab a hold of our shadow box, 
right here and we want to make it small. We want to bring it all the way down to there. Okay. And now we want to take grab a hold of our bunny and we want to grab a hold of our bunny and drop it right there and then do the same thing with it. Drag it all the way down until it's small. And then the same thing with our shadow box. Drag it all the way down until it is small. Okay, so that's basically what we've got here. So we did it in reverse, so not a big deal. Grab a hold of all of this, move it over here to show, and then let's move this over and this over. So this is gonna be our show. So whenever we click on our button to show, it's gonna show this. We're gonna come over to our stay. Let's go ahead and set this for all of them. Drag this out to here and set it again. Now let's come over to our hide and we want to set it here. And then click, drag, and then we want to set everything to what these were and that's zero, 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 zero. All right, so now let's come over here to our show. We need our bunny. So let's drag our bunny back out. Let's go ahead and make it same size as our button is. Okay, and let's grab a hold of our bunny and drop it into our button. Okay, it seems that our bunny disappeared, so let's click on our button holder here and see that the opacity is set to 100. It's not supposed to be at 100, it's supposed to be at zero. So make sure that your button holder is always set to zero so you can see everything up underneath it. Okay, and with it setting at zero, let's click, drag the marker out to here, set the opacity to 100, double click it, come over here to hide, double click it, come all the way out, and then drop the opacity down to zero. Okay, so now we've got our show and our hide. So next thing we want to do is grab a hold of our stop. We want to put a stop at the end of each one of our animations. Let's go ahead and copy it here, paste it. So let's go ahead and fold all of this up so that we can actually see what we're doing here. Okay, so we want to grab a hold of our button holder and our shadow holder. We're not going to be messing with anything else. So let's do our button holder first and we want to show and hide. So we're going to come over here we're going to do a mouse over and we want to do a sim dot play and then we want to show small. And make sure that everything's done right. So let's go ahead and copy that, click, and then we want to show big. Okay. So we want to do a mouse out, and then we want to do a hide small. Well, hide small. So the next thing we want to do is click here, and then we want to do a click, and then we want to do hide big, and then we want to do a mouse over, and then we want to do a stop at stay. So if everything goes right, this should run. So let's go ahead and do control enter. Drag it over here. All right, our mouse over works and our mouse out works. Let's see if our click works. And there it comes, we can move our mouse around. The stay that we have right here is what's allowing us to move our mouse around. If we did not have the stay right there, which is basically what the stay is doing is that it's basically taking the uh, all the dimensions exactly where everything is at and it's sticking it right here. But it's not playing it, it's stopping it on that action so that we can move our mouse around. And then whenever we click, it goes back and then we can do perform the same action over and over again. And so this right here is hopefully what he was wanting. And I hope that the lesson wasn't too long. 
and luckily Windows 10 Microsoft fixed their issues with Windows 10. Y'all have a good one. I am Wayne Barron. This is DarkEffects.net inside of Adobe Edge Animate. Y'all have a rocking week now. Bye-bye.